Hello, I'm Brian Scott Lambert, chair of the DuPage Libertarians here in Illinois. We've already talked about ballot access in Illinois, and later we're going to go over some strategies for going out and petitioning. But right now, we have to make sure that we understand the rules before the game begins. In Illinois, we need 25,000 valid signatures to get our statewide candidates on the ballot. However, because Republicans and Democrats fear competition, they routinely attempt to knock challengers, like Libertarians, off the ballot. Thus, our goal is almost twice that to ensure we survive those challenges. Part of what makes this such a daunting task for Libertarians in Illinois is that we have only 90 days to collect those signatures, have them notarized, gather them from across the state, and prepare the stack for delivery to the State Board of Elections. No signatures may be legally gathered before the petition drive start date. Going out to collect signatures is a process all its own, which we cover in our video on petitioning strategies. Here's what else you need to know before you start. Let's take a look at a petition form. The top is mostly legal writing about the petition, the middle section is where the signatures will go, and the bottom is what ties it all together. It's fairly self-explanatory, but there are a few very important details that could trip you up. Let's break this down and take a closer look. This is the legal wording that the state requires for us to get candidates on the ballot, along with the candidate's information. It confirms that the signer wants the candidates on the ballot, but it does not constitute a vote. Make sure this information is visible from your clipboard, and if you are making copies of blank petition forms to use, take care not to lose any of the text here at the top. Now let's take a closer look at the middle section. The signature is just that, the person's signature. Keep in mind that part of your job is to watch them sign, and no one can sign for anyone else. The printed name should be clearly written just as it appears on their voter registration. The address should be where they are registered to vote. Standard abbreviations are fine. Here they list the city, town, or village they live in, or unincorporated if it applies. Last is the county, but make sure they read it as county and not country. Usually after the first person gets it written down properly, the rest will follow. Remember, our political opponents will go after any small detail in an attempt to knock off that signature and us off the ballot. Keep in mind that petition forms do not have to be fully filled out to be turned in. Even if you only have a few on one page, it is still good. Every signature counts. Here we have to pay attention. This first part that asks for the county, you should leave it blank. This is the county where you are having the petition notarized, so you should wait until you are with the notary to fill this in. The next paragraph is your printed name, your permanent address, the type of area you live in, and the name of your city, village, or town, followed by the zip code and county that you live in. Don't forget to write down Illinois. You can fill in this section ahead of time if you like but leave everything below that blank. Make sure to not sign your name. This is for after you've collected the signatures. You must do this in front of the notary when they ask you. Also, leave the sheet number blank. It will be added when the entire stack of petitions across the state is assembled. Every petition must be notarized in person by a registered notary. While you can generally find a registered notary in your neighborhood or in a bank, your best bet is to find one of our volunteers on the petition drive page of the Illinois website or drop in at your local Libertarian chapter meeting. There will either be a notary there or they will know how to find one. To allow for travel and preparation time, all petitions should be delivered to a petition drive coordinator or the political division director five days before the petition drive ends. The easiest way to turn them in is at your local Libertarian chapter meeting, although you can also mail them in. So that's that. You can find out more information on the Petition Drive page at the Illinois website, or you can go to your local chapter meeting and get directly involved. New chapters are always forming, so if you don't see a chapter in your area, contact our membership director to find out if one is being started or how to start one yourself. With the DuPage Libertarians, I'm Brian Scott Lambert. Thanks for watching.